Hello, my name is Kabir Wolf and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about how I really feel about living in India. For the last three and a half months now, I have been living in India. I have came back to India to help build up one of my companies, the Invisible Paintbrush. And I've been living in the US for the last six years. So maybe this will help some of you guys. Perhaps you grew up in India, perhaps you grew up in the US. Just to give you a little bit of a different perspective of what it is like living in a different country. I'm going to be comparing the two countries based on cost of living, uh, ease of access to facilities, uh, social life and work life and just kind of some things like that. Uh, keep in mind guys that these opinions are my opinions. So you may have a different experience if you uh, choose to do this. So with that being said, hit that like button and let's get into the video. It was June last year when my business partners called me and said that they needed some assistance with our company in India. Now I was busy gallivanting in Mexico and Guatemala when I decided to come over here to India to help them out with some stuff. Initially, I stayed with my college friends for about a month uh, and then after I got a little bit sick of them and we got to a point where we needed some space from each other, uh, I went and got myself a room as well and I rented a place to kind of stay. Now, something about India is it's so, 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 so simple to get a meal home delivered to your house. So there's apps like Swiggy and Zomato that allow you to easily get food delivered to your house in a matter of 15, 20, maybe even 30 minutes. So I took full advantage of that and I had all my meals home delivered to me. Now that I'm thinking of going back to the US, I am definitely craving Chick-fil-A because that is something that I totally miss having here uh, in India. <sighs> Chick-fil-A. One thing that I certainly love about India is that you can have that meal home delivered for less than $5. Chick-fil-A is going to cost me $12 to $15 for just me. That's a sandwich, fries and a drink. I'm talking about here I can have a delicious chef prepared meal. Well, I guess all meals are chef prepared, aren't they? Unless even you're the chef. Maybe then the meal is being prepared. Regardless, I can have a chef prepared meal delivered to my house for under five bucks and under 30 minutes. Minutes. Who wants some of that? The room that I was staying in was $300 a month, which in the US you literally cannot get anything for $300 a month. That's absolutely $300 a month in the US, you're broke. You, you can't even stay at Holiday Inn for $300 a month. However, in India, price wise, this was really average. I mean, it was actually kind of more on the expensive side. I could have gone way cheaper than this. For just one room, $300, that's about 18 grand Indian rupees. That's a lot of money. So when you think of cost of living, cost of living is of course cheaper. Now, let's look at a couple other costs, right? For example, Ubering. Ubering across the city was less than 10 bucks from one destination in the city to anywhere in the city for under 10 bucks. I can't do that in the US. I can barely get down the road for 10 bucks. Going to the airport, 30, 40, 50 dollars. If you end up in Manhattan, 80 dollars. The Uber in India will actually call me to ask me where I'm going to decide if they want to go or not. But if you're curious to know more, I've made an entire video about that, which I've either posted or I'll be posting soon. And you can see that over here as well. The first time I was actually sitting amongst my friends and ordering an Uber, I was like, wow, how polite. He's like calling me to ask me to make sure that he's going the right way. No, no, they'll tell you, yes, sir, we're on our way. And then not show up straight up, just like not show up. And I'm like, hey, you said you were on your way. Turns out it's easier for them to tell you that they're on their way and cancel the ride than actually argue with you. Smart guys, right? Okay, let's talk about quality of life. I think that as long as you're staying inside your home, the quality of life is actually better in India. From the perspective of you have your own chauffeur, you have your own driver, you have your own cleaner. Luxuries that cost thousands of dollars here in the US. For just a couple hundred dollars a month, you can have your own driver, your own cleaner, your own chauffeur. Uh, you can have all of those luxuries as well, right? Let's talk about going out to eat. Four friends can go out to eat, have drinks at a nice five-star restaurant, and you're spending less than 100 bucks. I'm talking about a place like the Marriott going out and having a good time, less than 100 bucks, maybe 150 if you go crazy you're not getting away with that for four people here in the US that that's simply just not happening so when it comes to the quality of life I think it really comes down to what you value the most in quality of life right and what I realized is what I value the most was not the 24-hour Walmart what I value the most was not the having the fancy roads and things like that but what I valued most was hitting that like button for the YouTube algorithm in all seriousness though what I valued the most was spending time with my friends what I valued the most was having that ecosystem to where I have people that are supporting me and that are able to be there for me let's talk about the concept of personal space. The concept of personal space is alien to Indians. They just don't understand it. And I'm talking about pre-COVID time. I'm talking about alien, alien, pre-COVID time. Let's feet distance. It's You would not find an Indian one foot distance in pre-COVID time. COVID time, half a foot distance is considered like, oh my God, I'm social distancing. It's crazy. It's like, no, you don't do that. It, at Walgreens, when I first came to the US and I went to Walgreens and I stuck to the person in front of me, I was told that if I don't step back, I am going to get a butt whooping. 
That does not happen in India. In India, unless your belly is touching the person's back in front of you, someone will cut the line in front of you. So the personal space does not exist in India. That's something you can forget about. If you're going to India, forget about personal space. I mean, forget about it. Forget about it. This applies at the grocery store, this applies at the train station, this applies at the airport, this even applies in traffic. That's right, cars will casually bump you from the back and say, oops, my bad bro, there's no insurance, there's no cops, oh yeah, we're stopping the car in the middle of the road and we're yelling at each other if we need to, we even going at it, but we are not calling insurance, so we're going, and then it just becomes a matter of who can scream the loudest, right? So that, that, that's, that's, that's India, guys. So uh, traffic is crazy, no personal space, uh, so let's get past that. The lane system that we have all grown to love so much here in America, yeah, toss that out the window. We don't have no lane system over here. You make your own lane. The biggest vehicle, they win. That's how it works in India. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's just, there's too many people. There's people flowing out of everywhere. The roads need to be wider and the traffic needs to be less. Hopefully in the decades to come, both those problems will be fixed, but I don't know. With all that being said, guys, India has a family culture that I simply don't see in America. America has a lot of me, myself and I culture. India has a lot of we culture, a lot of family culture, a lot of bringing people together and uplifting people together culture, which you simply don't see in America. Even friends, family, casual acquaintances will treat you with so much love and compassion, which somebody in India might not. I mean, for those of you who already know this story, um, I once went to a friend's house unannounced and was opened the door with a gun in my face. That was not a fun experience, but that's America. You know, people are uncomfortable with you just showing up unannounced. So don't show up unannounced to your American house's friends. In closing, I'd just like to say this. While America may have the cars, may have the systems, may have the infrastructure, may have the businesses and the opportunities, it may or may not be for everybody, right? Whether it's for me, whether it's not for me, I don't know, honestly. You know, I kind of keep bouncing between different places. Different places have different things to offer and different values that we can take away from it. So when you're asking yourself, should I live in India? Should I live in America? Or should I live somewhere else? Ask yourself what you value the most. Ask yourself what's important to you the most. And if you think that family and culture is something that you value the most, perhaps you'd enjoy yourself more in India than you would in America. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you like these kind of videos, let me know in the comments below so I can make more videos like this. Subscribe down below and follow me on Instagram as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one.